Hey guys, um, I'm going to give you guys an update on the bike. Um, as you all know, it's the Giant Content 3. We originally had a 58 tooth sprocket on there. Now we dropped down to a 47 because we wanted, you know, quicker acceleration. Um, and believe it or not, it really accelerates really, really fast. And it goes just as fast as the um, 58 tooth. So it still has that top end know because of my leg power um we still have 11 to 34 tooth cassettes in the back so it gives you you know easy pedal you know when you're going uphill so it's really easy to pedal um so far we reached a new personal best on this bike in terms of speed as you guys can see we reached 44.3 miles an hour going down a steep hill and to be honest with you, the hill isn't really all that long. Like, it's really not that long, to be honest with you. So it's like, it's impressive that this bike, you know, is even able to, you know, go that fast. Because this is an $897 bike, so it's not carbon fiber. It's none of that good stuff, you know. It still weighs 23.6 pounds, which in my opinion is pretty heavy for a road bike. But... It's all aluminum, you know, it's fully aluminum, but still pretty heavy for a road bike. Um, I keep the tire pressure at like between 120 and 130 PSI, you know, because I'd be really wanting to go fast. Still original, you know, wheels, original bearings, nothing too major. All we really did was basically technically just upgrade the sprocket and the gearing. That's really all we did. The back sprockets are still the same. And then, uh, yeah, it's all we really did was really the front sprockets. And then me, I had to work on my pedal power. You know, I had to build my legs up for it. So this bike is basically stock. I only spent like $1,200 on it total because one time uh, somebody had ran into my back wheel. And the, uh, the whole wheel was bent and everything. So I had to get a new heavy-duty back wheel. So... That's part of like where all the weight's coming from. I have a heavy duty, heavy duty back wheel here. It's not like it's um, you know, built to go super super fast. But I'm telling you, man, this road bike is it's impressive, you know. And it's not like it's super aerodynamic either. You guys could see it's like shooting up, you know. It's not straight like into the, you know, into the wind. It's not like it's super duper aerodynamic. You know, I do eventually want to get way more aerodynamic handlebars and stuff like that. And uh, I do want to get eventually carbon fiber wheels and I want to get ceramic bearings so we could really see what this bike could really do, you know, with ceramic bearings. And those are like $400 per bearing, I believe, and then cover fiber wheels. Because someone told me, I went to my local bike shop and they told me that uh, I could buy carbon fiber wheels with ceramic bearings in it. And they would cost me like $2,500. I was like, sheesh. I was like, $2,500 is a lot of money. But I guess it's worth it when you really want to go fast. But look, still original bearings. We still hit 44.3 miles an hour. And we've also hit a new personal best on a flat road. We hit like 36, 37 miles an hour on a flat road. So, you know, we and I'm 180 pounds and I'm like six foot one and a half. So, you know, I'm a big person on this bike, you know, but it's an extra large, so it could fit up to someone who weighs 330 pounds. But, yeah, guys, that's our new personal best. <laughs> We're going to try to aim for 45 or 47 down that hill. And humidity was, like, really high today. The humidity was around 70, 80%, and it's, like, 80 degrees. All right, have a good day, guys. Peace.